Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to take a flash drive, maybe it's an old flash drive or a brand new one that you just bought, and make a Mac OS Sierra installer flash drive from it. That way if you ever need to reinstall Sierra or just you want to go ahead and have a backup just in case, you'll be able to have that. So let's jump over to the computer and I'm going to show you exactly what steps you need to take in order to get that done. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our flash drive, whether it's a brand new one or maybe it's an old one that you no longer need the contents of the flash drive. We're going to take that flash drive and we're going to put it into the computer. Now, if the flash drive does not show up on the desktop, that's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the disk utility. Once we open that up, as soon as we see the flash drive, we can go ahead and format it. Now, if for some reason your flash drive never shows up in the disk utility, you may have a bad flash drive. So, as long as it shows up, you can format it and you can use that to create your macOS Sierra bootable flash drive installer. So, we're going to go up here to the spotlight in the top right corner and click on it. And we're going to type in disk utility. And it's going to be the top hit. So we're going to go ahead and double click on that. And then there is the flash drive. Now, I may have mentioned this previously in another video, but you definitely want to get a USB 3.0. Now, this one that I have is not, so it takes quite a bit longer. But you want to get a USB 3.0 flash drive because it'll boot much quicker. Now, some of these older machines that will still support Sierra may not have USB 3.0. So in that case, the USB 2.0 would be just fine. But it will take a little bit longer to create that bootable flash drive installer. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the PNY USB 2.0 flash drive, or yours may be named something different, and then we're going to tell it to erase. Now, what I have noticed is that when you're erasing it, sometimes it doesn't get rid of all the partitions because it may have hidden partitions. But if you will go in and you'll format it as X fat and then just it doesn't matter what you call it. You can leave it untitled. That's fine. And go ahead and tell it to erase. Now it may fail at this point, but that's OK. We're just going to do it again. So we're going to click done. Go back to erase. Go back and click X fat again and tell it to erase. Now it has completely gotten rid of all the partitions that are on that flash drive. And what we're going to do in just a minute after this one finishes is we're going to go back in and we're going to change it back to OS X Extended Journaled Format instead of XFAT. Now that that's finished, we're going to do that. So we're going to click Done, click Erase, change it back to OS X Extended Journaled, and then I'm going to change the name of it to IT101. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it that and I'm going to tell it to Erase. As soon as this finishes, then we need to download the Mac OS Sierra DMG file. And you're wondering, well, why are we downloading the DMG file? I thought on the previous video, you downloaded the install Mac OS High Sierra dot app. Why wouldn't we download the install Mac OS Sierra dot app? Well, it's because Apple no longer allows you to download it as a dot app, but they do allow you to download the DMG. But that's okay because we can create the dot app file from the DMG file. So let's let this finish. I'll show you exactly where to go to get that DMG file and we'll get it downloaded. And then I'll go through the steps in order for you to be able to convert it to an app file. Okay, great. Now it's finished formatting the flash drive. So we're gonna click done. And then we're going to go up and we're going to click on Disk Utility and we're going to quit Disk Utility because we no longer need the Disk Utility anymore. The next thing we need to do is we need to download Mac OS Sierra. So we're going to click on Firefox or Chrome or Safari or Opera, whatever browser you prefer. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to go to Google.com and press Enter. And then we're going to say Download Old Mac OS Versions. And then press enter, and it's going to be the very first result how to download and install Mac OS. So you can click on that. Then we're going to scroll down, and there you go. You can click on Sierra 10.12, and we can download that. 
and you just click on it and you can tell it to save click OK and it starts downloading it right there now when this finishes downloading I'll continue on and show you exactly how to open up that DMG file to turn it into an app file and then the few other steps we need to take in order to create your installer disk. Okay, so mine is finished downloading. So what you need to do now is you need to click on Finder. Then you need to click on Downloads. And there is the install file that you've just downloaded. Now this is actually the one for Sierra. I don't know why they didn't call it that, but it is the Install OS Sierra 10.12. So all you have to do to get your install Mac OS Sierra dot app to show up in your applications is we're going to double click this. It's going to open up that DMG file and then we're going to double click on the install OS package and you're going to click continue, 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 agree, and then you're going to click on install and then it wants your password. So you just type it in and tell it to install. And what it's going to do is it's going to take that package and it's going to create that dot app file in your applications folder. Now that is going to be really helpful for us when we're creating this install flash drive, but that's not the last step. We have one more step before we can actually create the installer. So let's let this finish and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Okay. So it just finished. So we're going to tell it to close and then we're going to close this window. And then if you go to the applications folder, if you'll see right here, there's your install Mac OS Sierra. So we're ready to go for that application so that we can create the installer, except there's one more step we have to take right here. I created a text document and it has the two commands that we need to run in terminal. This first one, what this does is this actually helps you create the installer on the flash drive. What will happen is if you run this second one before running this first one, a lot of times it will tell you that this is not a valid volume mount. But if you will go ahead and run this one first, which is a sudo plutil replace and then it is a cf bundle short version string. It's changing it from 12.6.06 .06 to 12.6.03. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy that. And you're wondering, okay, well, where is that command? So I don't have to type the whole thing in. Don't worry. I put it down below in the description for you. I made it really easy. So all you're going to do is you're going to copy that. You're going to go to spotlight up here. You're going to type in terminal. You're going to double click on the terminal and when it opens up, you just go to edit and you paste and then you just press enter. Then it wants your password. So we're going to type our password in, press enter and that's it. All it did was change it from a 0.06 to a 0.03. Now we can go and we can take the second one and we can copy it. Again, it's down below in the description. You don't have to remember all this, but if you will notice whatever you named your volume as mine was IT 101, that's the volume you need to put right there. And then you're just going to go in here and you're going to paste it and you're going to press enter. And then you're going to put Y so that it can erase the volume and make a Mac OS Sierra installer. And then you're going to press enter. Now, if you get that error message, that's okay. Don't worry. It's not a problem. What we're going to do is we're just going to run that command one more time. Now, if for any reason you get this error message right here, that says that volumes IT 101 or whatever yours is called is not a valid mount point. All you have to do is go back into your disk utility click on IT 101 and tell it to mount. And then you can go back in and put that command back in. And as you see, it's erasing the disk. And as soon as it finishes erasing the disk, it's going to copy the contents onto the flash drive and then you're good to go. It'll be a perfectly good working installer flash drive of Mac OS Sierra. 
So let's let it finish and then we'll continue on. Okay, so I wanted to let y'all know about one other thing. If for any reason you keep getting an error occurred erasing the disk, don't worry. Try restarting your computer and running both of those terminal commands again. If you still get it, then what you would want to do is you'd want to go back into your disk utility. And then once you're in disk utility, you just want to go ahead and you want to format the disk again. It's possible, even though it was supposed to get rid of all the partitions, it may not have. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to erase it and I'm going to make it an XFAT one more time. Tell it to erase. Once it erases, I'm going to go ahead and make it an OS 10 extended journaled again. So give me just a few minutes. I'm going to try that and see if that'll work for me. But I wanted to show you that just in case you encounter that same problem, how you could go and fix that. Okay, now I'm going to go and format it as OS 10 extended. And I'm also going to name it IT101. Okay, it just finished. So I'm going to click done. And I'm going to go back over here. So you just need to run that second terminal command one more time. And then there's a very easy way to do that. On your keyboard, just press the up arrow one time and then press enter and then press Y for yes so it'll continue to erase the disk and then let it see if it'll go through at that point. So we're going to let this finish because it is erasing the disk at this point and then it's going to copy all the information over to it. So we're going to let that get done and once it does then I'll pick right back up and I'll show you that the installer is actually going to work. So give me one second. And we'll be right back. One other piece of information I wanted to let you know about is if you keep erasing the disk and you keep going back to the terminal command and it keeps failing, it is possible that you have a flash drive that has gone bad. So just try a different flash drive and most of the time that'll fix the problem. Sometimes these things just go bad over time. I have a couple that they've been working fine but they won't erase so I have to just get rid of it. So you just have to toss them and just try a different one. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know that in case you keep erasing it, you keep retrying it and it won't work. It could just be a bad flash drive. Okay, great. So now it has finished making the flash drive. So what we can do is we can go ahead and we can quit out of terminal we can quit out of the disk utility and then I'm going to go up to the Apple menu and go to system preferences and I'm going to go to the startup disk and as you can see right there it's going to give me the option to boot to the install Mac OS Sierra 10.12.6 flash drive. So it is a bootable flash drive that I can use to reinstall or install Sierra. So if you need to do that on your computer or if you just want to have a backup these are the steps you would take in order to do it thanks so much for watching everybody i hope that was helpful on how you can take your flash drive whether it's a new one or a used one and you can create a mac os sierra installer that you can use to either reinstall your mac if you need to or you can just have it as a backup so if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to get back to you as I do with all my other videos. And please, if you can do me a favor, please like and subscribe so I can keep putting up all these great videos and keep making all this content for y'all. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.